MoGuffin Reviews. With spoilers, this is a MoGuff review. Tri uh, Triangle of Sadness, 2022, directed by Ruben Osland, who also directed Force Majeure, The Square, Involuntary, and Play. And this stars Harris Dickinson and Charlie Dean. Now, Harris Dickinson plays Carl, and you might have seen him in The Scrapper, The Medium, The Kingsman, See How They Run, Where the Crawdads Sing, Femme, and Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, and Country Lines. And he plays a, a model, a male model, whose career is on a bit of a, a lull. It's, uh, he's trying to get some work. And yeah, it's, he's not as, as successful as his girlfriend, Yaya, who's played by Charlie Dean. And you may have seen her in Spud 1 and 2, Death Race 3, Inferno, Don't Sleep, and Black Lightning. And she's an influencer, and she seems to make more money and than him. And yeah, we see a little bit of an argument in a restaurant. Well, not an argument, but... A disagreement in a restaurant about money and who should pay and so yeah this is a uh, as in force majeure this is a relationship sort of uh, story it's uh, a relationship in trouble and they go on a they go on a luxury yacht cruise and the captain of the yacht is played by woody of the well it's a big boat it's a big it's like a cruise liner but it's not as big and it's for the wealthy for the ultra rich and the captain of this vessel is woody played by woody harrelson he's more of a reluctant captain and he was also in true detective natural born killers zombieland one zombieland one and two solo cheers kingpin 2012 three billboards outside Ebbing, missouri the Thin Red Line, The Hunger Games, The Scanner Darkly, Ed TV, People vs. Larry Flint, White Men Can't Jump, to name but a few. So yeah, great to have Woody Harrelson in this. He's great as the captain who doesn't like being a captain, but he's there. He's trying to, he's trying to, um, you know, get through the job. And uh, we meet some of the, the people on board the, the yacht slash cruise liner. And Zlato Burek plays Dimitri, who's a, you get the impression he's a billionaire. He's made money from fertilizer. And uh, he was also in the movies Pusher 1, 2 and 3 from 2012. So a bit of reunion here between Woody and Zlato. But they're great together. And uh, they have good conversations about communism and capitalism. And I get the feeling that's, Something that this movie is some of the theme that's one of the themes of this movie. Uh, we also have we have people we learn about people on board who make their money through uh, military equipment, as in there's Clementine and Winston, and Winston has a company that makes grenades, and uh, Oliver Ford Davies plays Winston, and he was also in Star Wars one and two, uh, Johnny English and Game of Thrones. And Amanda Walker plays Calamantine, and she was also in Cloud Atlas 28 weeks later and A Room with a View. So yeah, we, we go through, the thing about this film is it's a bit slow, as in so is Force Majeure. And uh, yeah, it's a slow burn. Nothing much happens um, apart, well, something does happen in this. The a storm hits the, the cruise liner and we get... Uh, we get a real sort of um, funny incidents where people aren't uh, people are getting sick on board and the, the cruise is going a bit pear shaped for everyone and uh, they get through the storm and pirates arrive and uh, throw a grenade on top of the, into, into the ship and it's actually one of Winston's grenades and that's a funny moment too and then we get our some of our some of the survivors and Carl and Yaga and uh, 
surviving on an island. They, they, they wash up on an island, so they get a, a castaway movie as well. And they're all trying to survive on the island. And one of the people that washes up is Abigail, who is one of the, the cleaners on board the ship. And uh, that's one of the scenes we get on the ship is the people trying to clear up all the all the um, the, the sickness from the from the people on board. And uh, Dolly De Leon plays Abigail, and she was also in Aswan Verdict, Historia Nihai. And she becomes our the main person on the island because she can catch fish and she comes useful. No one else seems to be useful and she can catch fish and she can start fires and she, yeah, she begins to take over the, what would you say, hierarchy of the island and yeah, everyone needs her to survive. So we get that sort of a uh, great um, sort of dynamic there where the on the luxury yacht, she's one of the lower uh, people and on the island she's one of the she's basically the queen of the islands so we're getting a bit of a uh, class sort of discussion on this and we're getting so yeah I I enjoyed it um, it's not one I'd watch again and I liked Woody Harrelson's performance and Lato Burek uh, it wasn't something I'd yeah I'd probably go back to. Um, if I was going to recommend it, I'd give it a. Oh, yeah, look, I give it a three. I give it a three out of five. Um, when I was watching it, it's two and a half hours. It's a good stretch, but when I was watching it, I was enjoying it. Um, but it's not one I'd go back to. I don't think it gave a very satisfying ending. Um, it did. Did Abigail kill? Well, we, we get a bit of um, relationship turnabout where Carl um, hooks up with Abigail, and and she there. I don't know whether it's a matter of survival for him or because she's the one taking care of everyone on the island. But when they find out that the island is not as secluded and there is a hotel on the other side, and um, there is civilization on the island we get a bit of a strange ending where we don't know if abigail kills yaya and um because yeah but just the ending is uh unsatisfactory for me but yeah there's some good there's some good things about it there's some good comedy um ruben oslund is a swedish director he also wrote this as well and it's the second movie I've seen by him, and yeah, I had the same feeling on Force Majeure. There's a good story to tell, but sort of misses the misses the mark in places. Um, so yeah, that's Triangle of Sadness. Brad McGuffin Review Triangle of Sadness.